welcome to Eternal Mana, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are glad that you have joined us today to uh, jo join with us and journey with us through the book of Psalms. We are in Psalm 16, and now we pick it up today at verse 4. Those choosing other gods shall all be filled with sorrow. I will not offer the sacrifices they do or even speak the name of their gods. So David makes a very dogmatic statement. David was surrounded by pantheon of gods, false gods. And David says, those choosing false gods, other gods are going to be filled with sorrow. Their sorrows are going to multiply when they go after these false gods. And in our day today, yes, there is a pantheon of false gods surrounding us. Materialism is about one of the big false gods. And we must decide not to follow these false gods. I will not offer the sacrifices they do. Now, if you look at the pagan customs, uh, you would be shocked that uh, human sacrifices were offered to these uh, pagan gods. And uh, David is uh, looking at all this and saying, uh, you know, uh, this is something that the true and the living God abhors. He detests human sacrifices. So I will not go in that direction. I will not sacrifice any of my children to false gods. And then he also says, I'm not even going to make mention of the names of these uh, gods. I'm not going to take their names on my lips. And so we only take one name on our lips, and that's the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name above every other name, the highly exalted name, the only name by which we are saved, we are brought into a right relationship with God. And right through the day, I want to encourage you to pronounce the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, uh, and there is power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And not to make mention of any other false God. Then in verse 5, David says, he uh, uses four <coughs> very personal pronouns. The Lord himself is my inheritance, he is my prize, he is my food and drink, my highest joy, he guards all that is mine. We could take a whole half an hour sermon on this one verse, but I want to highlight those four statements that David made. The Lord is my inheritance. Now, the priests uh, in biblical times were not given any real estate or property. The Lord was their inheritance. And David, being the youngest in his family, also would not have had access to any property. And David is saying, that's okay. If the Lord is my inheritance, who cares about property? Who cares about real estate? And we should be able to say today, the Lord is my inheritance. And then David says, the Lord is my prize. The Lord is my reward. You can see how content David was in his relationship with uh, God. He was not looking for stuff. He said, God alone is my prize, the ultimate prize, the supreme prize, God himself. He is my inheritance. He is my prize. And then David says, the Lord is my food and drink. In other words, I look to the Lord for daily nourishment. He is the God who is going to lead me to green pastures and to still waters. He is the God who is going to spread this banqueting table of grace before me, from which I can feast and be nurtured and nourished so that I can face all the challenges of life. The Lord is my food and drink. And the Lord Jesus is the bread of life. And the Lord Jesus is the water of life. 
and we would do well to feast on him and thereby be strengthened in the inner man to face whatever comes our way each day. And then fourthly, David says, God is my highest joy. I mean, we all have experienced earthly happiness, right? But uh, it's all fleeting, isn't it? It's just only for the moment. It's temporary and it does not fully satisfy. And uh, again, you and I can't go wrong if we personalize our God. He becomes our highest joy. When the Lord Jesus comes into our life, he floods our soul with supernatural joy that no one can take away. And even in the midst of tears, that joy is going to be resident with us, sorrowful yet rejoicing, as the Apostle Paul would put it. He is my inheritance. He is my prize. He is my food and drink. He is my highest joy. And then uh, David says, he guards all that is mine. Everything that I am and that I possess, my God has committed himself to guarding it. And we would all agree, our children come right at the top of the list, isn't it? And uh, here is a wonderful promise that God will guard our children from going down the wrong track from uh, being led astray. And uh, we as parents uh, need to make sure that we are walking with God and that God will take care of our children. 2 Timothy 1.12, Paul put it this way, I'm convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day. So go through this day with the wonderful assurance that the Lord is your inheritance, your prize, your food and drink, your highest joy, and he will guard all that is yours. Amen, and God bless you. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.